Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. In this video, we will be discussing about a very important topic that is which questions will the ISO 27001 certification auditor ask you whenever you will be going for the certification. What kind of questions will be there? What are the things that you should prepare for? All these things we will address in this particular video. So whenever you are going for the certification for the first time, there will be always questions in your mind. For example, what will the auditor ask me? So to understand about this, to understand what kind of questions will be there, this is the video that will help you to answer this question. First of all, the most important thing is the mandatory documentation. The auditor will first do a check of all the documentation that exists in the system. You know, uh, you know, the stage one audit he will carry out, asking you for all the existence uh, of the documents that are required by the standard. These are the set of mandatory documents that I have already, uh, you know, discussed in a separate video. So I, so I will not be discussing it here. But you, if you want to go back, you can watch the list of mandatory documents. There is a separate video on this YouTube channel where you can see that okay and uh, apart from that he will also check the security controls by observing your statement of applicability which is also known as SOA so the purpose of SOA document is to define which controls are appropriate which controls are applicable to be implemented in your organization what are the objectives of these controls, how these controls are implemented as well as to, you know, uh, formally approve any kind of implementation of the said controls. That's where the statement of applicability comes into play, SOA, as a guide. So the auditor will observe that, will use that, will see that, of course. So in addition to the mandatory documents, the auditor would also like to review the documents that your company has developed in kind of a support for the implementation of your ISMS or implementation of your controls for example it could be a project plan that you have created it could be a network diagram it could be a list of uh, separate documentation it could be network architectures it could be uh, you know uh, security architectures that you have created it could be anything so this is a list of the supporting documentation that the auditor might also require for. The second thing after documentation is evidence. This is where a lot of people have confusion and a lot of people get stuck. So after checking which documents exist in the system that you have created, the next step then comes is to verify that everything is working, that you have mentioned it, that you have written, uh, whether, whether, it, whether it is corresponding to the reality of the situation or not you know uh, you know th this normally takes place in the stage 2 audit you know so everything that you have mentioned in the information security policy you know so the, the auditor can ask you have you know have you when was the last time you have re reviewed this policy are there any changes that you have done you know so th these kind of uh, you know evidences he will look out for for example, he, he can ask you, show me the records, where, where did you make those changes, what, what were the changes that you made in this policy lately, things like that. Now, apart from the policies, he can also ask regarding security controls, you know, he will, he will also ask you uh, evidences, records in terms of implementation of those uh, security controls, you know, it, it can be log files. It, it can be a configuration of your infrastructure, platforms, uh, you know, any agreements or any, you know, regulatory documents that you have just to prove the compliance there. After that, an important aspect comes into play is interviews. So at this time, the auditor is pretty much familiar with what kind of documents your company is using. So now he needs to check if people are familiar with them or not whether the policies that you have created, whether people know these policies or not and whether the people are actually following these uh, policies in the day-to-day -day activities or not. That is the prime concern why uh, an auditor is actually trying to understand all these things. So he is basically trying to understand whether the ISMS that you have implemented in your organization is working properly or not. 
he wants to understand that he wants to make sure that it is being followed he wants to make sure that what you have created is not only with you but the other functions the other people who are working in different departments they also know that this kind of an environment exists this kind of a security environment exists this kind of security policies exist you know so this awareness is very important that's where the auditor look, looks out for okay that's why he interviews people he he wants to check out what degree of knowledge people have what what degree of understanding people have you know what are the things that people refer to in case they have any doubts you know so things like that auditor can ask uh, you know uh, some questions like uh, you know can you show me some information security policies or uh, access control policies can you tell me what is written there can you tell me what are the points that you consider important in this particular policy things like that to interview people and uh, also people who are responsible for processes for example access controls you know so in order to gauge their understanding of the process of the controls of the policies the auditor can ask interviews they can ask questions in the interviews okay so this these questions will be aiming uh, you know just to make sure that the people are familiar with the functions that they are performing their roles their obligations you know and whether they are helping in the implementation of all the controls that you have identified being implemented in the ISMS that you have created okay so in short if i summarize the auditor uh, can ask you documents required by the mandatory list of documents that is required by the iso 27001 standard and any documents that exist in the ISMS as a whole he can ask you about that uh, he can ask you which records to check uh, you know compliance with the documents for example what are the supporting things what are these policies what are the procedures that you have implemented he can of course go ahead and interview a lot of personnel in your organization so if you want to be really well prepared for these questions that an auditor may consider first you have to check all the required documents as i have mentioned just go back and watch that video once again go back and watch that video twice or thrice just try to understand what are the list of mandatory documents what are the things that that, sh that you should you, that are must have there are list of mandatory documents there are list of mandatory records that you should have and uh, then you should check box just check out whether you have those records or not you have those list of mandatory documents or not okay so it is very important that all the people who are working in your processes also have a familiarity and awareness at the ground level of all these policies and the documentations that you have created it should not be a case where only the person who has actually created all the documentation is aware about all those documents and all the other people who are working there they don't have a clue of what is ongoing it should not be the case okay so all the people who are involved in the day to day operations of your organization relevant to the scope of your ISMS implementation they should have a clear understanding guys this is very important okay so make sure that as far as possible you are you have not created the documentation just to satisfy the certification requirement or the audit requirement for ISMS however each and every documentation holds a specific place is being understood by all the staff members is being followed religiously is being updated properly all these things are very important from audit standpoint and will help proper assurance and effectiveness of the ISMS that you have implemented in place so very important video again anybody who wants to know what are the questions that uh, an auditor will ask i would highly recommend this video to watch twice or thrice and uh, make sure that uh, you know you understand the requirements uh, what kind of questions an auditor can ask for and what is the mindset that you should have it's more important for you to understand what kind of a mindset that you should have while answering these questions while answering the you know while preparing for the uh, audit that is more important if if you can take something from uh, as a takeaway from this video that is one thing that i would highly suggest you do apart from that if you have any questions for me this is love johar 
and anything you as an auditor if you are watching this video anything that you see that i have missed feel free to add in the comment section and anything that you want to add from your personal experience please do that and also apart from this if you have any questions for me feel free to shoot in the comment section i will try to answer them as soon as possible thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not done it already thank you so much this is love johar take care bye bye